Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to the last episode review of Yashihime Princess Half Demon Season 2, uh, episode 24 or 48. A never, a never ending future. Now, I like to discuss, uh, like discuss my preview discussion. Is there going to be a season three? It's still up in the air for me, because if there is a season three, I'm all for it. I'm all for for a season three. But just how it would just the last shot of how it concluded, maybe it just wanted to end on a high note, you know. But it's still. It's still uh, decisive for me if, if it's if this is the, uh, of of if this is uh, if this is how the way they want to end the series that's fine because how the way it ends it's it's perfectly fine with me it is but if there is if if, if they left room for a season three I'm all for it so that's why is this how it's a little bit uh, decisive for me though but let me know if you think it, let me know if you think there's still gonna be a season three just let me know if you what 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 do you think of it. Just let me. Th all right, but anyway, getting back to, to, to the last episode of of Yashihime, um, a never ending future. It op it opens with um, with every everyone uh, with well, first of all, ends with uh, Trikio, you know, uh, still into the tree of ages, uh, saying that um, th uh, thanks for um, she wanted to thank uh. Uh, thankful for, they should want to thank the basically the, the half the princess half demons for preventing the preventing the de the degenerate age so and he says that uh, and he knew that uh, so she's talking uh, but also with Sushomaru as well I knew that you and your daughters will be strong enough to achieve this and so and then and says I'm grateful to you Sushomaru oh that was kind of funny though at the very start of the, at the very start of the series that Trikio was talking to the the, the half demons uh, princesses, saying that you know they should defeat uh, Kitty Maru and Sashomaru, But I guess that kind of like <laughs> kind of like uh, defeating Kitty Maru, yeah, it's fine. But Sashomaru, I guess that's out that was out the window, I guess. But but, but, but Trikio saying that uh, um, I'm grateful to you, Sashomaru, and then she just fa fades away now. And so back at Kaede's village, all the demon slayers, like um, the the two the two demon slayers, I keep forgetting their names, but including uh, Hisui and Kohaku, they're helping rebuild. And Kaede uh, saying it's finally over. And we see like the rainbow. We got the at the, at the shot of the last uh, episode. Um, Toa bearing uh, Kirimaru's horn that was supposed to be Riku. So it was nice that they uh, gave they they bring up Riku about this and Morha and Sessin are bringing flowers. And back at back in the um uh back um like I said how uh, this is like, I think this is how if they want to end the, how the way they end uh, the end of the series because we're getting uh, now shots of everybody now we're getting shots of everybody like we said it would start with Trikio then with our Demon Slayers right and then we go back to the future the, the, to the future at the Higurashi Shrine like we're getting like a shot of like like oh Grandpa H Grandpa Higurashi's um all of his knickknacks. His Charms and all that stuff, like like the one like the one that was like Shiko and Joel, like from the very start of of Inuyasha. and then we shot get a shot of the Bonier as well. Like they were really, if they were ending on this the series like this, they're we're getting a shot of everything here. Um, then we get the next we get, next we get a Moy uh, doing her violin, and we 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 have so Sota um. And then we have uh, May, who's asleep, who's just doing a drawing of the girls, and uh, Kagome's mom and grandpa are there, saying that she, um, saying that she worked, uh, May's worked hard on that drawing, and like how the drawing shows of of Morha and, and uh, Toa are happy and with and, and with Setsuna, buggy eyed, you know, like huh? <laughs> it's funny on the drawing there was uh, on Setsuna. Um. And this so this this maze has been away from, from Toa. She's become a lot more self assured, and was become as cool as, as cool as her big sister. <laughs> and then Moy saying, "I hope that Cessna is still playing uh, the violin back in that world." And Kagome's mom is saying that if I wonder if Mora is living with Kagome and Inuyasha. 
And so does and I hope they're all living in peace. Prove they did well for themselves. And then we get this nice, nice, nice with uh, with uh, Moroha and her dad Inuyasha uh, hunting a demon together. That's nice. This uh, ice demon. This ice demon uh, looks kind of like a saber toothed cat a little a little bit. Like uh, Inuyasha gets a uh, well um, the 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 the, demon, the ice demon shoots a breeze and Inuyasha's arm gets a little iced and uh, so that's nothing. Then does his wind scar, and then the the demon puts up a nice bit, a nice a nice block, and then and then Mora goes uses her crimson dragon wave breaks it, and now Inasha cool they use to use the ad, the adamant barrage nice always nice, and then Mora uses the uses her sacred arrow purifies and we get this uh, ice sword, and then you know uh. uh and then Kagome is looking on, very all proud. And then we get the flash. And we got a flashback back when they were in the border of the afterlife. And Moroha, <laughs> funny, funny moment with Kagome saying that you know that oh Moroha, you're in debt. And, and then we get that little that once again that scary face that scary face of Kagome, which I always thought was funny too. You know, so um well Moroha is explaining well I go and get heads of demons or treasures and I give them to the corpse dealer Jubei. And then she's asking, "How much do you owe?" And it's like, "Oh, only one Ryu." And then, and then Kagome's telling Inuyasha, saying, "Go, and, uh, go slay some demons." And then we get the we have that with the one vision of Kagome looking all really angry, right? How we see him from before. I cannot allow our beloved daughter to remain in debt. <laughs> Inuyasha's like, "Oh, uh, sure thing." <laughs> uh, that's really funny. So yeah. And then you get the, once again this uh, whole then another sweet wholesome moment saying oh that oh a wholesome moment with the, with them together again and then Mioga who just vanished throughout the, the whole entire this whole entire season like I said at the, he was the last time I saw him was at the finale of the first season and after which he's never shown up since this whole entire this in this whole entire second season where he's gone off to I have no idea. But yeah, but he but he just he just disappeared through this whole entire season. But like, like I said, this, this is the finale. That we're 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 getting, we're gonna get shot, final shots of everybody here. So yeah, at least at least uh, Yoga is there. It's like, oh, it's you, Yoga. <laughs> and he's like, you're the, still the same as always, Inuyasha. <laughs> and it's like, um. And then Moro's like, oh well, you didn't show your face the way we're fighting Kirimaru. It was like. Well, you know, a wise man always keeps away from danger. Yep, that was so true. Always running away. And plus, it's been a while since he tasted Inuyasha's blood, too. <laughs> and so, and... And then, the moral high was holding her dad's hand, like, a little bit of ice on it. It's like, oh, it'll heal up. And he's like, no, way, here, don't be modest. Let me warm it up for you. So, they get, they get this nice shot of... <laughs> like, Inuyasha looking a little bit embarrassed, you know, which is which is cool. A nice, wholesome moment where they're together as a family. Very nice heartfelt moment which I enjoy that and so he's gonna now Moro's gonna take it to, to, to Jubei the, the ice sword so she takes it and now she's finally out of debt she's, she's finally out of debt you know she's like even though oh my dad helped me unless it embarrassed like her dad embarrassed pure Mora embarrassed too as well so and then so now now Jubei saying your debt is finally repaid and yep Finally, Moroha is finally out of the debt now. Finally. And then a, then a guy walks in. A guy a guy walks in, then we come back in. Uh, come back to with Rin with their daughters, giving them both Komodos. It's the same type of Komodos we saw at the end of the E D for this for this for this last half of the season. The E D the you know, the E D or outro you can say. And uh, they're wearing those. Where they wore, where they were wore those komodos. Well, she gives them. Rain gives them those komodos, which it said. Um, uh, cause it looks like can we wear such fine clothing? Besides that, this is a. Uh, it's the same fabric they have. The same fabric they got from their father. So. And it's like he worked very hard. Same as the reward. And he's asking if their father was. Uh, after all this time, were they um, worried about? Uh, was Sashomaru worried about them? And and I like how Rin uh 
and Rin, uh, Rin tells them that uh, she experienced it before, how she died before as well. So, and they're like, "What?" And they say, "In this area, there are so many nasty things here, you know." So, but you see, both half demons, you know, face hardships. You know, kind of like recalling uh, when how Inuyasha, you know, back then when he was growing up, you know, how the hardships he faced, you know, from being a half demon. She's kind of telling like how these two will be will experience the hardships, you know, for being half demons. So you, you so you got so you get you get that little occurrence there, and but since since you're all, uh, text uh, you're all strong, you're being such almost daughters, you know, we'll slay anything. We could do anything. And plus, we got not only we got with Moraha with us too. So until and, and uh, and Ranyo you know, have you know that one little flashback when they were born, you know, because I think that was the only thing that uh, memory she had with them, you know. So. And he's like, oh, since you're both quite strong, I'm sure your father is a relief, too. And then we get back at the, at the, 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 the Tokamoro, uh, uh, we see, we see a shot of the, the, the falcon Tokamoro. And we get back at the, the, um, the raccoon dog island, I forget the name of the island, though, but where Takachiyo's brother's there and all the raccoon dogs. Although we didn't see Hachi, though, in this episode. I know he was at the ending of the previous one, but um, he was not here this time. But we see, uh, and then we see, uh, we see Takuchiyo's brother and all the other raccoon dogs, and Shippo's there, um, like teaching him stuff, like like transformation. And they're like, "Oh wow!" <laughs> and it's like, it's like, and Shippo's like, "Oh, well, it's tough being a teacher." And then uh, Sagu and Moroku is there, and their daughters, uh, Gelkato and Kinyu. <laughs> and it's like, "Oh wow, that's so cool," you know. <laughs> And he says, and the Moroku, Moroku saying, um, Chippo has, be, has become has become quite respectable. <laughs> and so, uh, and then the, 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 the twins are playing with playing with <laughs> playing with Chippo, and Chippo's like, oh, they're just like their parents. <laughs> and he says, so Moroku, please do something. And then it's like, well, we'll come for him later. <laughs> so they're basically leaving him. No, they're just yeah, they're just they're, but no, they're much worse, basically. <laughs> so they're just, they're just gonna leave them the way they are, what they're doing to him right now. So yeah, we, 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 get, so we get this nice shot of we're getting this in this last episode. We're getting shot of everybody here, which is nice. And so back at the corpse deal, at the corpse deal with Jubei. Well, it's nighttime though, but before that, um, the twins, um, To and Sesson are wearing their komodos, which we saw at the at the ending of the the new outro ED. And and then Toys bringing up what their what the what, what their mother said earlier about you know uh what, why did they leave them alone uh, on their own all that stuff and says was bringing up it's a right of right of courage and cowardice so so same because you bring up said half demons will have enemies you know testing us you know see the whole how we can survive on survive on our own basically and then. Uh, then Mora comes up with her with her new uh, Komodo, which is nice too, and and it's like oh like your unlike our father um they're telling they're telling Mora like unlike our father your father Inuyasha is very easy to understand. It's like oh what are you talking about? And so you put uh, so the, uh, and you say you put your two is it your dad put your two through the extreme training because so that you two will uh, lose to any bully or be bullied because you had an opinion for that. And it's like. Oh, are you saying that? Is that a parental love? I think it's a bit, convol it's a bit, a bit convoluted. <laughs> anyway, um. But then, and, and then, Moro's like, oh, wait, did I say something wrong? Oh, I'm so sorry. But uh, the two of the, but the two of them are, but the two of them, uh, all three of them hug each other, you know, thank you for Moro for being good, a good friend. Even though they're cousins, though, but still friend, still. And Moro crying out and saying, I had already let go of me. And Toy was like, "Oh, you're so bashful." <laughs> no, I'm not. And I thought it was kind of funny, like how at the end of one of the episodes in season three, and like it was at the ending of Night in Tokyo again. You know, when Kuka was like, "I'm not blubbering," and I was like, "I am not. I'm not crying." Yes, you are. I am not. I thought it was kind of funny. I thought that kind of reminded me of that part, though. Like Moro was saying, "I am not." <laughs> But anyway, Moro's bringing up that you do, um, bring, and then Moro goes and brings up, um, are you two interested in finding some money? 
and they bring up the the the, the one guy um which which they kind of we kind of they kind of figure out it's like oh, hey that man is yeah right interesting and but the guys the guys call it call calls himself Kai saying that you want to uh, quest this, uh or slaying uh, demons and the and in the seas of the west so that's why you come here so and then after when the uh, Cessna and Morha leave um Toa goes and punches the wall and he goes this oh lady Toa <laughs> Which they 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 knew that that's Riku the whole time. It's like you can't fool me, Riku. <laughs> so like obviously because he because obviously because she smelled him, and <laughs> so, so it was pretty embarrassing. It's like but at least I, 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 you see it that I'm still alive. I'm not dead. Yeah, I, we can see that. And we see with Setsuna with uh, and he's we uh, training. And since uh, he's we loses and he's saying, "Oh, you are strong, you know." But he said, "Oh, I still have a long ways to go." And he's just saying that I'll surpass you. And so he's saying, "I'll still, I still want to become even stronger." And then he brings up that how uh, Princess Aya, the princess, <laughs> said that she sent you, sent he sent a letter. She wants to, vi uh, she wants to vi a visit. He wants you to visit her tomorrow. And saying, "Oh, was that a request?" And says so like kind of like laughing, smiling to herself, saying, "Oh, you're pretty." Telling him, "Oh, you're pretty dense. It's a love letter. Maybe you'll become a lord." <laughs> and then, and then she's like, "No, no, no! I don't want that." It's like, "No, it's you that I." And, he, and then she get, and he gets cut off. We've got the idea that you know, he sweet kind of he sweet likes sets and us. That's why it's like, "Oh no, it's you that I." Then he gets cut off. Yeah, it's like he doesn't want to be with. I, I yeah, he wants to be with her. And so um, then she go she goes and leaves, and then K uh, Kohako gets there and it's like um, says that she's a pretty much an impenetrable castle, and it's like um, and said and said that um, either way, either way I would have it um, um, till she comes back like I will train I will train with you, and it's like that's the spirit, <laughs> and then and then we go with Morha with her Morha with her parents saying that uh, they'll, they've taken Jubei's job. So they head into the Io province in the west, and so well, even though your debt is even though your your debt is repaid though, but you still want to go out and continue slaying demons, and so they wish her the best, and uh, they she asks and more ask if you wanted to give him a uh, give both of them a hug, which is nice, nice way well, a nice heartfelt moment. I always enjoyed that. She she hugs them both. As I'm, and she says, she says, she says goodbye to her parents. Nice, and and then um, Toa and Sessna are flying on Kilala, and and then she says are asking that he um, that how Riku is still alive. I guess when um, it, it shows that you know you know when when Toa was brought back thanks to Rion, and it showed that the horn was in her pocket. Right, I guess when she was brought back, I guess that's how Riku got. How Riku got brought back. Um, but he mentions like it's because of Ria, Miss Rion's uh, uh, and Kirimaru's cone and Haku. That's how he got how, how he got brought back. And then Sesame is like, "How is like how was how was that possible?" And I was like, "I don't know what to tell." He's like, "Oh, I don't know what to tell you." <laughs> and then they they see that Moroha down there with the uh not Moroha. Rin, Sashomaru, and Jocken are there. Rin's waving bye bye to them, and then uh, Sashomaru kind of looked like well, it looked like he kind of wants to smile. He does, but you know Sashomaru being <laughs> being the same expression guy he always was though he doesn't show anything. But then, but then Toa's like, oh, when we come back, we'll hear from we'll we like to hear from more of you, father. And then of course, typical Sashomaru saying, let's go, Rin. Of course, typical of Sashomaru. Tip typical. And then Jock is like, Sashomaru, you're acting cheerful. Then he, <laughs> once again, he steps He steps on Jock. And <laughs> that's always so funny. He steps on. He's like, you're still the same as all. Rin saying, you're still the same as always, Master Jock. And then we cut back. And we go back. To, we, and this is several days later. The IO Previance. And it looks like now Riku has um, Kiri, is on Kirimaru, Kirimaru's boat. And he has this, and he has a new outfit, which is which is really cool. Like I said, 
I've always enjoyed Riku. He's always a badass, and he has his new outfit, which is, makes him look even more badass. And Takachiyo is there with him as well, and dealing with, um, like, these, uh, sea, these sea demons, and Moha is using her sacred arrows, defeating uh, a whole bunch of them. And then they're their boss, which is this big, huge mud monster. This big, huge mud monster, and Toa and Sesuna, they take it out, saying, Oh, you're half-demons. But that's right, we're Sashomaru's daughters. We're Toa and Setsuna. <sighs> so, there you have it. So, that one, how that ended were Toa and Setsuna, which, it kind of, it says, it wants to end just like that, on a high note like that, where the daughters of Sashomaru were Toa and Setsuna. But at the same time, they're one of slay demons out in that west, right? In the Ayu province. But kind of leads up to a third seat with leads up to a third season. Like I said, if it, if they're if they're if, they, if they're hinting and making a third season, I'm all for it. Like I said, I will I would like to I would love to see a third season. I do. You know, if they, if they want to do a third season, did I talk did I talk about uh, stuff a while? I like to see in third season. I don't remember. I don't remember though. Uh, I man, I gotta remember my memory that bad, but as I, I'll say right now, if they want to make a do stuff for third season, third season, I would like to see more of them. Um, like we said, they weren't out this out in the west, you know, just saying, um, kill demons from the west, you know, like if they want to go like different parts of the country, like um, like they they mentioned some Chinese folklore as well, like maybe China or India or something like there, like stuff in the west, uh, stuff in that west, you know, maybe we'd like to see something like that, maybe. And also, we want to go back to the, to our land, to the land we're at now. I want to see uh, like um, uh, Genichi, uh, yeah, yeah, Genichi, you know, the half demon Genichi. You know that that yeah from from before from from the first from the Inuyasha the uh, the half demon Genichi. Um, but um, or Koga because he was in this. In, we also saw like, a split second clips of him. You know, back we you know when Morha when she was an infant. But we never saw him, basically, I never saw him at all this season. This whole entire show, basically. I'd like to see Koga again. But, um... But, yeah, if there were to be a season, season 3, I'm all for it. I would love to see a season 3. But, at the same time, how the way it ends, maybe we wanted to end just like, oh, we're the daughters of Sashomaru, we're Toa and Setsuna, and then, basically, that's the end of it right there, though. So, if they don't want to make a season 3... And it ends just like the way it is. I'm perfectly fine with it because it ends all happily. But like I said, season season three or not, I'm how happy I'm happy with the way it ends is. But if there's gonna be a season three, I am all for. Like I said. But anyway, as for the episode itself, I enjoyed it. Everything we got we got shots of everybody, everybody. Uh, which we got shots of all the characters. You know, quick shots of like from the future and everybody else, like the Higurashi the Higurashi family. Uh, Ka Kaede, Mioga, which who disappeared throughout the whole this whole entire season, but they want to get everybody in, you know, for one last time, you can say, Mioga. Um, even says I brought up brought, mentioned Princess Aya. <laughs> um. Uh, Morha spending time with her family, like her to finding her with her dad, finding a demon. That's nice. Um, Morha's debt has finally uh, been repaid. Finally, um. Then her having her nice sweet wholesome moments with her fa with her parents, I always enjoyed that. Um, um, I mentioned that about Trikio because you know they want to bring everybody in this, so they we get to see Trikio one last time. Um, nice. Uh, at least they want to bring it. They said they want to bring in everybody in. Um, and and uh, how uh, what um like I said um what Rin saying about the to their daughters as they're leaving, and of course the Shomro you know not showing anything. <laughs> and typical of him saying, let's go, Rin. Typical. And Jaga said, oh, you look cheerful, says Shomaru, and he gets stepped on again. That was always been funny for me. Um, and, of course, when Rin said, oh, you're, always, you're still the same, Master Jockin. And, yeah. And, like I said, though, though um, if it is, in the, how, if, like I said, if this, I really enjoy this episode. 
for for the finale, it was enjoyable. Like the animation for this was like crystal clear to me. It was like really well done animation for some reason. Compared to the other ones, it was really well done animation. I have to say that. And and also though this whole and this whole entire series, um, for this season, I had my few nitpicks ups and downs though. But overall, it was still an enjoyable season. I it was. And, and how, if it want to end, you know, because they, it, like I said, how it ends, like, with the Ors to Shomor's daughters, with Toa and Sesena, and they want, they want, basically want to end on a high note. If it is, that's fine. If this series wants to become to an end like this, that's fine. But, if there is hints of the season three, I'm all for it, like I said. Um, Riku, the new badass look, outfit for him, you know, if there are fine demons on, like I said, on the, on the, the West, you know, I'd like to see them make fight more demons, like, from other countries, That'd be that be different, you know, they, because they mentioned like uh, Greek, Chinese folklore is from the past before. So fight different demons from different countries. That's different. Um, but we'll have to wait for confirmation though. If they confirm this is the end, that's fine. If not, season three, I'm all for it. But yeah, this has been a really long journey for for me for this whole entire of this of the season of Yashihime Princess Half Demon. Man, it's been a long journey for me. But after this, though, I have to do my finale of My Dress Up Darling. And then on Tuesday, the finale of Rising, uh, the Genius Prince's uh, Guide to Raising a Nation Out of Debt. And then, maybe I'm a, um, because I've been looking for more uh, for more um, series that's coming out this spring. Um, I'll have to mention, uh, what, what's the next series I'd like to review, you know, because I've been on a roll recently, you know. Yeah, I know, I've been, I've been, not been doing movie reviews because I've been doing these series, but, you know, I've been having fun doing, reviewing animes, you know. It's a change, change of pace, you know, because for several, over, over close to a decade now, I've been doing nothing but movie reviews and stuff, you know, so I haven't done anime reviews, so I think it's a nice change of pace for me. So, if, if I, if, uh, I will eventually do some more movie reviews, though, but, if I, um, I think I'd like to continue more on reviewing more anime series, you know, because, hey, it's my channel, I can do whatever I want, right? But, um, eventually I'll get back to do more movie reviews, though, but that's for another time, though. But I'll do look forward to seeing more, I would see more d during the spring, another anime series for me to watch. But, um, as for this note, this episode, A Never Ending Future, I enjoyed it. It was a way to end the series, if possible, for a third season. Maybe we'll have to wait on to see on that. But, uh, Yashihime Princess Half Demon, for now, if for third season is confirmed, it's, this is for now. But if not, this is the end. I'm perfectly fine with it, you know. It's been, I've, I've, and I hope you guys enjoyed me reviewing this whole entire series of Yashihime. Because, you know, I've been a big fan of eating Yash for so long. Always been a fan of the series. But yeah, and nice that that, that Moa got time with to spend with her parents. Nice, always wait for that, you know. But yeah, it was a great way to end the uh, end the series. Hopefully, set for a third season. Hopefully, cross fingers. If not, it's it's perfectly fine to end the series for us to end like this. Perf I'm fine with it. So, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed me review in this episode as well as the rest of the series. <sighs> thanks for watching from the whole. Thanks for watching. And it's been a long journey for, for this, you know. For me, it was a really it was really great, you know. It was really great. But let's wait and see for a third season. If not, this this series, the ending of this series, it's been really great. So, but yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the finale reviews, upcoming finale reviews of. The next one is My Dress Up Darling, and then the upcoming one of Genius Princess Guide to Raise a Nation Out of Debt, and then we'll go from there. So yeah, thanks for watching, and for thanks for Yashihime, Princess Half Demon, first season, the second season, if possible, we'll let's try to get a third season, if possible though, because I've enjoyed our characters of Toa, Setsuna, and Moha, and of our original character, original cast as well. I'd like to see more though. So we'll see, possible, we'll see a little further if we'll see on that though. But thanks for watching, and for thanks for uh, 
watching uh, for me reviewing of Prince of Yashihime Princess Half Demon, and we'll see you all later.